What's up everybody? Welcome to Shiny Tech Things and on today's Tech Rant we're going to talk about servers. Now I have a home server that I host virtual machines on and it is a HP Perliant server. Now it's a great server, however there are some loopholes as far as being able to get updates without paying for them if it's not under warranty. Now that's really the only complaint that I have as far as uh, HP versus say like Dell for example. Uh, with Dell you can just go right to their website you know, click on the download link and go ahead and get the latest version of the BIOS or uh, lifecycle controller and firmware updates without being a registered user. Now, HP Enterprise, on the other hand, they go ahead and charge for their releases if you are not under a active warranty agreement. Now, the loophole to this, as you will see, is actually quite simple. Now, real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and jump to the call as I was talking to HP Enterprise that I was disappointed on not being able to download a firmware update for my machine. Well, usually, uh, for a BIOS update to be downloaded from the support page, you need to have a passport account that basically our HP account mm -hmm. with an active uh, warranty server linked to that account. Right. So only then you'll be able to download the BIOS update because it's, uh, it's locked or it's entitled basically. Okay. So and how do we, you? We have to. Go ahead. Yeah, we'll have to just create a new account. We'll first check if your server is under warranty. If it is, then uh, I'll be able to help you with creating an account and linking the warranty to your password, and you should be able to download the BIOS update. Yeah, well, I, I do, now, I do I? have a, uh, a login, and you know, it's the only HP server I have at home. So let me okay. log in here and. All right, sure, sure. That should not that should not be an issue as long as the server is on the warranty. You should be able to help you download the file update. Yeah. Now, if it's not under warranty, then what about getting the last BIOS that was supported while it was under warranty coverage? Um, that, that's not, I don't think that's the way it works. So, how about this? There is one uh, workaround though. So, if you go to the support page, uh, there are some critical updates that you still will be able to download without, without having an active entitlement. That is something I can agree with. So, uh, be that as it may, it may have released after your warranty expired or before, it doesn't matter. As long as it is a critical update, you should be able to download it. So here on HP Enterprise's website, I went ahead and found my server. And now I'm going to go ahead and look for the available BIOSes for it. I'm going to go ahead and select Microsoft since I'm running Hyper-V on it. And here we can see that it shows entitlement is required for this download. Now if we click on it, now you can see here that because there is a lock on it, you can't download it without a active warranty agreement with HP Enterprise. So if we click on it, it won't let us download it. Now if we go ahead and click on revision history, then I'm going to hold down control and press the letter F for find. And I'm going to go ahead and type in critical and it's going to find the first version that was released as a critical patch. Now we can go ahead and click on this version number and then download. And that's all there is to it. Now I can go ahead and update my server without having a active contract with HP Enterprise. So that's it for today's video, and if you like this video, go ahead and slap that like button if you're into that kind of thing. And if you didn't like this video, then go ahead and slap that dislike button twice so we know that you mean it. Sorry, my dogs are going nuts here. Okay, uh...